Hey, it's Joe with Joe Lee Farms. Welcome back to the channel. It's just me here today. Uh, Lisa's behind the camera. So it's a really kind of a cool morning, about 60 degrees this morning. But really nice. Sun's going to be a great day today. So I wanted to talk to you about something that's going on with YouTube. For quite a while now, we've had um, people being unsubscribed from our channel without their knowledge. And so uh, several of you have contacted us and told us about this. Lisa was unsubscribed from our channel, as you know, and through no fault of her own, um, she just went to check one day and she wasn't there anymore. So um, we're seeing this happen a lot. And a lot of people here in Book Obama say, hey, uh, did you quit doing videos? We haven't seen your videos in a while. And I tell them, well, you better go look and make sure you're not unsubscribed. And they would go look and say, yeah, we got unsubscribed. So I contacted YouTube uh, support about this uh, in the past, and I did it again this morning. And I get the typical um, condescending answers from uh, Google support. Uh, you know, they want to explain to me all about how subscribes work, et cetera, and, uh, which is pretty evident. So, you know, their response to me is that they check our channels um, constantly for suspicious activity and erase accounts that may be spam accounts. And so I don't know what a spam account would be, but I'm pretty convinced none of you are spam accounts. You're human beings. You send me messages and tell me your experiences. So I'm uh, pretty sure you're not a spam account. I know my wife Lisa is not a spam account. So I presented this information to the uh, support assistant and she, you know, just has a thousand explanations. They have nothing to do with what's going on. So they obviously don't want to correct it. It sounds a bit like shadow banning to me. Um, we notice our account falls off in terms of views whenever we do one of these videos that talk about our unpleasant experiences with customer service, or as we would say, Google support, I guess is the correct term. So we know that happens a lot. Um, and I'm sure this video is going to cost us too. And while we're on the subject of cost, We've always said we don't do this for the money. We did finally receive a check. Now, our arguments with Google are simple. We just want our money sent here to Ecuador because um, we don't want it put in a U.S. bank account. We'd much rather have it here and not have to be transferred later, et cetera. So we have a way to send mail here, as many of you know, but it has to go to an address in Florida and then it gets shipped down here. They said, no, we need a mailing address in Ecuador. Well, Ecuador has no mailing addresses. There is no postal service here. Um, so um, they refused to send it to a U.S. address and let that be shipped down here. A thousand reasons why they claim they can't do that. So they wire transferred to our bank account, charged us $40 for the privilege. So the $187 in a year and a half that we've made on YouTube, they took 40 of that. And now we have $147 that we've actually made on YouTube. So this is a really a, not, a, not a profitable thing for us by any means. So we're thinking of alternative um, platforms, et cetera, and what might be accommodating for our subscribers and what people might find advantageous. Mm -hmm. So if you could just leave us a comment, you know, suggestion um, as to what other platforms you are interested in or that you might watch to see our videos. As you know, we posted some videos up on Rumble. Um, not a great response on Rumble, some, but we're interested in hearing any suggestions you have. We know a lot of creators are leaving YouTube right now for a variety of reasons. Um, we don't really want to leave YouTube, but we certainly are going to look at other options and uh, find a platform that may be a little bit more accommodating to the content creators. And so uh, we'd ask that you have some input in that. Um, if you want us to stay right where we're at, that's what we'll do. If you would like to see us on another platform, please tell us. If you like some other additional content that we don't do, we'll certainly consider that as well. We know we're putting out some different videos right now, um, just trying to accommodate all tastes. We can't be everything to everyone, but we do want to try to accommodate as much as we possibly can. Um, we also don't do this as a full-time business, so we're not working at this every single day of the week. 
but in our travels, when we go different places, we're taking pictures, et cetera, and doing video, we love to share that with you. This week, we're going to some cool places we've been to before, but we're going to shoot them again because they're just wonderful places and you don't get to see it all in one visit. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get some more pictures to share with you folks. Well, that's about all I have. I did want to make sure that you knew what's going on with YouTube. So we aren't going to suddenly disappear from anything. Um, but if we do decide to make a change, we'll let you know well in advance. And we'll continue to post notices on YouTube directing you to wherever we go. And um, so again, not convinced we're going anywhere, but we'd sure like your input on that. And as we've always told people, we're really neophytes at this. If you have some suggestions for us, something that would help with our channel and with our struggles with Google support, um, then we'd love to hear it. Okay, I almost forgot to tell you, um, make sure that when you go and check to see if you're subscribed, make sure that you hit that notification bell. That way you'll always be notified of our videos. That's a real surefire method um, to see if you're being unsubscribed. Because if all of a sudden you don't get notifications, you know Google did something with your account uh, concerning our channel. So I hope you'll hit that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up. See ya.